Hi, my name is Alok Shrivastava and first of all, I would like to say thank you for trusting us for your cloud training needs. So in this training for AWS Certified Solutions Architect, we will be covering a lot of things in details, all the topics which a Solution Architect guy need to know. But before we jump onto this, I would like to spend some time with you and will try to make you understand why there is a shift from sys admin to cloud admins and why only Linux skills are not good enough to give you a job these days. So if I move ahead and try to explain, we need to just go back sometime and see what, how the data centers were made or how the setup was made uh, some couple of years ago when the cloud was not that popular. So initially the companies need to purchase all the devices like they need to purchase the servers, the switches and the routers. So they need to invest a lot in space and they need to purchase like do a lot of purchasing. They need to purchase servers and power and then obviously they need to take care of the power backups also like a company might need to take care of the of uh, gensets and all the things. And obviously uh, in the server rooms, you will be having too much of cooling needs. So all that n means I need to invest a lot of money, a lot of capex, capital expenditure is required. And then finally I might, I have to, not might, I have to hire sysadmin guys, server admins guys. I need to hire like hardware engineers to make all these things work. And then being in the management, I have to take care of attrition also. People just switch the jobs, they change the job. And then eventually the nightmare is that I need to take care of my data myself. So all these things were to be taken care by the company who are doing the setup in the initial days. So if I try to give you a picture so that it will be easy for you to understand. So a company need to purchase a space. So the rental comes into the picture right then a company need to buy some hardware so the they need to purchase servers and racks it they can go with ibm or hp or dell machines so we need to have some guys this guy here who will be assigned the job of hardware engineers and the job profile of this guy is to make sure that the all the racks and everything is being set up pro set up properly so we need to uh, hire some guys who will be working as hardware engineers. So typically they are the guys who have done training and certifications like A plus, N plus or hardware knowledge. So these are the guys. Then we need or the company need to have some network admins, the guys who will be designing the network, laying out the cable, configuring switches and routers, they need to do all that stuff because without network, nothing is going to work. So normally these guys are the guys, uh, we used to call them network admins and these are the guys who are trained on CCNA and CCNP kind of stuff, right? Then finally, the servers who are already being set up by the hardware engineers, we need the third category of the guys, the sys admins guys or the server admins. So the responsibility of this third guy is to make sure that the right operating system and the applications are installed and configured on these servers which are already being set up by the hardware engineer. So one machine might be running as a FTP server and the other machines might be running as a Samba server or a web server. So these are the guys who are normally RSC certified guys, a very respected certification. There is no doubt about that. And when everything is working fine, I have to pay for these three guys. I, ha I have to take care of electricity needs, the cooling needs, the data backup and everything. And then when everything is fine, running, kicking, my employees can then use the infrastructure and the company is working properly. That's how a typical company used to work. But then enter the cloud computing. So what happened? So there cloud computing simply means instead of managing the traditional computing platform like my, I, I have to purchase servers and racks and all the things, 
there is a company who says hey don't do any capex we have the setup with us why don't you use our setup so instead of purchasing everything i am taking everything on rent it is something like i'll give you a, a very simple example purchasing your car is the traditional computing platform so you need to invest in capex right you need to take care of the insurance of the car you need to take care of the wear and tear the maintenance the depreciation and the fuel and you have to drive and then if you are in india then road rage might be a problem so and then cloud computing is something like taking a ola or a uber to work i need not to invest a single penny in buying the car the car is not mine i can hire it as and when required and if i am not going to office for 10 days i am not going to pay a single penny to ola or uber right so based on my requirements i will be taking the services that's a very simple example so what does that mean that simply means guys the company no more requires the people which have only linux skills linux skills okay i'll just repeat myself here again linux skills are required i'm not at all saying that linux skills are not required they are required but only linux skills is not good enough so companies are looking for cloud admins those who have got linux plus the cloud skills these two things so that is where the shift is so that's why i had said that only linux skills are not going to give you the job you need something more so that means what what effect the cloud has done to a typical company with all these infrastructure everything in in place we we have got three guys working a lot of setup and maintenance with cloud it's gone these job profiles are gone i don't need hardware engineers because i don't have hardware with me I don't need network engineers I don't have routers and switches and that huge data center with me and I don't need simple sys admin guys what I need then how I'm going to manage my servers I need a guy who is supposed to be a cloud admin so this guy is supposed to work or manage my data center on the cloud and obviously the servers are running on linux so he should be having the linux knowledge but only linux knowledge will not work he should first know how to set up a data center on the cloud how to set up the servers on the cloud make their network secure the networks and then eventually the servers are running on linux so obviously he should be knowing how to configure the servers so that means with the cloud here comes these three big names Amazon web services Google cloud platform GCP or Microsoft Azure there are a lot more other cloud service providers we call them CSPs but the big daddies are these three and among these three the bigger Amazon web services is the big daddy of cloud computing so that's why we focus on this course we are focusing on Amazon web services so i can take services from any of these companies plus we have got other names like rackspace alibaba there are a lot of uh, like companies who are coming onto the cloud now ibm is also into the cloud one of the reasons why ibm has purchased red hat though it it is not uh, relevant with the course context but i just wanted to share with you the uh, one of the reasons why ibm has purchased red hat was because ibm has got no footprint in cloud so with red hat they wanted to come into the hybrid cloud with the open stack so we will be talking about it later on but not right now so the cloud admins are required and what are the expectations this guy need to have these skills obviously the servers are running on linux so you should have linux skills you cannot ignore linux then because the data centers are not physical you should be knowing how to set up the things on amazon web services or google cloud or microsoft azure the more the better third step is very important if you know terraform how to do cloud at, uh, automation so we do the automation on terraform and finally you don't have a single server 
so you need some devops skills some cloud automation some configuration management skills like ansible puppet git docker and python these things are required from the cloud or admins so that's why guys you might be hearing that there are no jobs in it believe me there are jobs but there it's very hard to find people with the right skills so if you are learning amazon web services with us so the chances are that and i highly recommend that you should have at least rsc sa level of skills before you continue in this course with the next video so i'll see you in the next video where we will be talking about what is cloud computing and the advantages and the features thank you very much i'll see you soon in the next video